It's the richest race in motorcycle drag racing history. So once we go hot, I'm going to call you guys up for your time trial. It's still two time trials. It's too much money. I know we want to get through it. I went back and forth. Do I want to cut it down to one? I can't. I got to give you guys a shake in both trees. On both sides of the lane. Both words. I can't do it. I, got to, I stand by my rules. I don't want to change this. Getting two time trials. What I am going to do, a time trial is a time trial. I don't care if you're box or no box. Get in the ring. So time trials or time trials. When I call time trials, you don't need to figure out who, if you're box or no box. It's going to be one lane or two lanes, whatever. We're going to get you down the track. We'll stamp your bike. Once you get two stamps, you've had your two time trials, you're ready to race. That cleared everybody. Everybody ready to race. All the top racers here from all over the country. It is the $50,000 to win NHDRO Big Show. Guys, this is huge. This sea of bikes is seemingly endless. This is what a $50,000 purse will do. It will bring everyone out of the woodwork from all over the country. Take a look at this line. The lanes, seemingly endless. $50,000 to the winner, $12,000 to the runner-up. It was a $500 buy-in. He only took $128, and it filled up in less than 12 hours. Everybody wanted a shot at the big money. All the time. I love it. What's your name? My name is Carl Sheckle. Where are you from? I'm from Lebanon, Kentucky. You watch Cycle Drag? I watch Cycle Drag. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> hey, we're in Indy. What do you got? What's your name? Uh, my name is Mark. Where are you from? Monroe, Michigan. You watch Cycle Drag? Yes, sir. We Thank watch you. it. Thank, Thank you. this thing growing. Well, I think it's safe to say you traveled quite a ways for this race, didn't you? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, 1,150 miles. Beautiful sticker. What is your name, sir? Braylon Lewis. And where are you from? Indiana. You watch Cycle Drag? All, every day. Thank you so much, man. Next thing, we just got to get you one of these shirts from Pro Things. Yeah. What is your name, sir? Dean Mangus from Wait. Anderson, Indiana. Do you happen to watch Cycle Drag? Oh, you know I do. Thank you for the support. Love it. Thank you, sir. How hard to beat. All right, let's catch you up. The rain has stopped. Here we are, guys. Richest purse in history. $50,000 on the line. We're down to the final in no box and box. The excitement is off the charts. This race has taken two days. We battled the rain yesterday. It's beautiful today. Lucas Oil Raceway. We're going to take this one to a finish. Yes, stay with us in this video. We're going to take it all the way to a conclusion and hear from the runner-up and the winner. But who will punch their ticket? Will it be Terry Hoke or the 20-year veteran Janie Palm out of St. Louis? It'll be a GSXR 1000 left lane. <laughs> right Could you imagine the nerves, the butterflies, the excitement as these two competitors prepare for arguably the run of their lives? Good luck. Thank you. This is the no box final. There were 64 no box competitors, 64 box competitors. It's over down low. Janie Palm, the win of her life. The 20 year vet from St. Louis is going to the final. Here comes our box final round. Ronnie Woodall Jr. and his beautiful GS alongside the legend, a man who's won more than a thousand races. That is Roy Hagedorn, right lane. We've got a tight race. Hagedorn giving chase, top end of the racetrack. Hagedorn takes the win. Oh. There you go, boys. Florida's in the house. Here. Florida's in the house. The legend of Hagedorn continues to grow. That's one heck of a weekend, right? This far. It's all we can do, you know? Great job. Hey, 
There she goes. She's proud. What a race. How about it, guys? How about it? Wow, guys. So there you go. The legend, Roy Hagedorn, multi-time track champion, multi-time national champion, alongside Cheney Pump. <laughs> It's your day, it's your day. Janie's a tough racer, but as I said before, with the amount of front runners stacked in this field, I don't think anybody picked Janie to win this thing, but congratulations, man. What a win for her. Can't wait to see what she plans to do with the winnings. We got much more coming. We're here for you on Cycle Drag. Thank you for liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook, subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube. We got the conclusion coming up. $50,000 on the line. What is your name, sir? Ron Ruglis. Are you having a good time? We're having a great time. Great time today. I'm telling you, the action's good. We got the sun shining. We're racing. Life couldn't get any better than that. Keep up the good work. Appreciate it very much for all what you guys do, too, with the live stream. What? How you doing, young lady? What is your name? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you were shy. I don't like it, yeah. It's okay. We just wanted to know, you're doing a great job. Thank you. What's it like to work a big event like this up here in the tower? It's good. A little stressful, but it's good. I'm going to let you get back to work because I'm bugging. Thank you. And we're going to bracket racing. The BB Racing Bill Butler Super Bracket Shootout Final has come down to this. On the no lock side, Jamie Palm went through 64 other bikes to get to this point. On the box side, Roy Hagedorn. Probably got a lot of land as a favorite, made it through the no box side. It's all come down to this. So guys and gals, two minute warning. If you want to see the final, make your way to the starting line for the largest payout in bracket racing history, from my understanding. So here's what we got. The winner, $50,000. The runner up, $12,000. It all comes down to this. The big show. Puts a 007 on the no box boost. So Roy not far behind with an 020. We're bar to bar. Top end. Roy Hagedorn. Hagedorn wins it. Wow. Hagedorn has done so much. Congratulations, guys. Hey, who you want to thank? All the Florida boys that make the long drive. He's a bad man, isn't he? All the Florida You can add this on his resume. Yeah. $50,000, guys. $50,000. Congratulations. What a great performance. Janie Palm, Roy Hagedorn, now 50,000 richer. What an unbelievable race, huh? That's a lot of money. Y'all better come get some of this. How about it, guys? Let's hear for the Woodalls. What'd you guys see up there? She was telling somebody to get out of the lights? She said yeah, she, she was telling them to get out the lights because somebody was standing in front of the uh, trigger the lights, yeah. the beam. But she did her job. She was 007, yeah, she was two off. She couldn't ask for more. Wow, tight race, huh? Tight he was 020. Good Lord. So, tight one. It was a good race. Great performance, both competitors. 
Janie knows she did the best she possibly could. Great job, Janie. And here comes your champ, Roy Hagedorn. Is he pumped or what? Could you guys imagine winning $50,000? What would you do with $50,000? <laughs> Janie, big smile on your face. You know, technically you'll go down as the runner up, but my goodness, $12,000 to come out and win the no box class. Yep. How are you feeling reflecting on a, a big weekend? Ah, uh, good, real good. I'm um, just proud that uh, I could do that with a stock clutch. I don't have a Gen 2 in here, it's stock clutch. My bike is only 62 inches, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm very happy. I saw you on the line um, getting telling somebody to back off. Were people getting a little too close? Well, no, what happened was she, she walked through the line and flicked my lights, and that oh. threw me off. So I just pulled back, I just wanted them to be back because she walked through past the starting line. and But that was, I mean, once she moved back, it was fine. Probably the last thing you needed with, with that much money on the line. But you did your job, you treat them, yeah. 007. Tell me what was going through your mind and how much stress it was. You know what, when I race, I don't I don't really focus on the stress. There's people everywhere, but all I focus is on the tree and my run and just making sure I cut that light, so. When you entered this race, did you think you had a legitimate chance with some of these big names out here? Did you think you could yes, win it all? Yes, because I've been bracket racing for 20 years. There's, it's anybody's game. There's a lot of luck that's involved with this. You have to have some skill, but there's a lot of luck. So anybody had a chance in this race, anybody. Was there any talk of a split or any negotiation back there? Uh, there was. There was. Okay, but you guys just decided to leave it as it was? No, we split. Oh, you did? Well, my goodness, you should be smiling a little harder then. <laughs> so you, you just won Thirty-one thousand. No, it was different. It okay, was, we split earlier, so. So okay. It was a decision made by the last four. The last four split. Split yeah. down the middle. Nope. Okay, so. No, it was a little bit more to the winner and, and runner-up than the last two uh, losers. So. Very cool. So I got to ask you here, that amount of money for your program. What are you going to do with it? Uh, probably put it into the house. <laughs> that's that's the uh, financial advisors would be proud of you yeah, yeah. i think yeah. all the motorcycle, motorcycle people the same. I, like, <laughs> I like it the way it is <laughs> i think all the motorcycle fans watching are saying uh how about a pro mod or a pro street or no i'm not putting my money in that <laughs> i'm happy with my bike the way it is excellent well <laughs> congratulations anybody you'd like to thank oh absolutely charles willis he is um i just get on the bike and ride so he does everything with the bike maintenance wise the morning yesterday morning um when we started racing, I said the clutch didn't feel quite right, and he just changed everything on it. So put a brand new stock clutch in it, and um, look what happened. And the last thing I wanted to ask you, how close was it down there with Roy? Uh, it was .002 margin of victory. What was that like with the naked eye? It was, we were ten neck and neck. Couldn't tell. Who took the stripe? Uh, I think Roy took the stripe. Roy took the stripe. So did yep. you did you lift it all? I did not lift. Nope, I stayed in it. You I wasn't lifting. <laughs> that just shows how tough it is. Double O seven. You were close to your number, but yeah, not close enough. Man, Roy's tough. Yeah, he is tough. He's a good guy too. Such a good guy. Excellent. Yeah. Well, congratulations so and uh, enjoy your winnings. Thank you. What a day it was for Mr. Roy Hagedorn. Roy, how many years have you been racing? I, I've had this bike for 39 years. Good Lord, and the list goes on and on. I know you are a multi-time track champ. You've been to the brackets before. Where does this win now rank in your all-time career history? Number one. That says a lot. Tell me why. It's just, just the money and, and the people, the racers, what was here. That was probably one of the toughest races you'll ever go to. The caliber racers will be racing against. You have a lot of experience in tough races. When you enter a race that's this stacked with 128 people and all the big names are here, What's your approach round round by round? Is it just proverbial one round at a time? One round at a time and, and this believe it or not, I called my daughter from Florida every round and she would tell me what the bike would run. <sighs> She's got some serious ESP going on with you or something here. Yeah, because on my two time runs yesterday, she told me, Dad, the bike's gonna go eight eighty eight with a two. It went 888 with a two. She come back and run the other lane. She goes, Dad, the bike's gonna go 888 with a two. And it went 888 with a two. And it's like, man, this is unreal. I said, tell me what it's gonna go and I'll put it on there. That's your secret weapon right there. Take me through the weekend. Was there any hardship you had to overcome? No, no, no. The bike was good. I didn't have to touch it, but put gas in it. Air in the air shifter and air in the tires. And it, it was, it was, all point pretty much all weekend.
That semifinal with Woodall Jr. looked like a close one. Tell me about that one. That was very close. That was actually a 0 0 1 1000 race. Wow. And it was like, I, I got lucky, but I'll take it. Who took the stripe? I did, by 1 1000. And what'd that look like with the naked eye? You can't see that. I, I probably messed it up, but I'll take it. Very cool. Then you get to the final with Janie. I think everybody thought that the box was going to have the advantage, but. Janie put a double oh seven on you. I was I was in trouble right there. I just got lucky because the bike run right there. Very impressive. How close was that one down there at the strike? That was oh oh two thousand. So talk to me now. I want to ask you about the split. You guys were doing some negotiating back there. What what was the end result of the split? I I actually told him. I said I didn't want to split, but I didn't want to be the guy that was a bad guy so I said you know what I'll do whatever you guys want to do and then uh, we got together and one guy in the street side with no box didn't want to split so I told the uh, four guys what was left I said listen we got guaranteed at least $12,000 so why don't we give at least $3,000 to the two people that lose on the box side this round and they was all game for that so we did 3000 there then in the semifinals, we both give them ten thousand dollars, and then in the final, we race for sixteen and twenty. That's very generous of you. Yeah. So. So you don't want to be greedy. What are you going to do with twenty thousand dollars? What kind of shot in the arm for your program will this be? We're probably going to go to McDonald's and I'm going to buy him a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. Another thing too is you stick with old school. You got this awesome MPS cycle drag gs back here uh any desire to maybe go see your suzuki dealer and get a booster or a gsxr no but I, i'll tell you I, I bought this bike brand new in 1981 and i raced it for 39 years and i just i kind of i've raced some street bikes in that but i i like the old school well you're definitely one of the best ever have you have you ever done any bottom ball bracing have you ever been tempted oh when we first raced, that's all we did was bottom bulb. So a lot of guys say, oh, you can't race without the delay box. We can, but the delay box definitely makes you better because you're always cutting a pro light. That's all that does. You're always a pro light, always. A lot of people are going to be having their ears open right now because I got an important question, and that is what makes Roy Hagedorn so good? Uh, I will tell anybody Hold out Hold on there. one second. Let's wait till these. All right. There, there, now it's nice there, and quiet. The best thing you can do if you're going to run a delay box, spend you a hundred dollars and buy your little practice tree. Play that thing till your thumb hurts. That's the best, the best practice you can get. Because you, you can go out at, to the track, you're going to get what five, six, maybe ten runs. With a practice tree, you can get hundreds and hundreds. That is the best thing you can do. I'm 60 years old. I play it every day. Big congrats. Anybody you want to thank? I do. I want to thank my daughter, my wife, my son-in-law, my two grandkids. I want to thank Nick Boland, Dean Moore, Mike Moore, and Beckett because they let us borrow their motorhome to come up here. And it's like, there ain't too many people to let you take a $150,000 motorhome to come up here. Well, big congrats. I know a couple years ago, I asked Brett Kepner, we were doing a Mount Rushmore, four greatest motorcycle drag racers of all time. He listed you as one of the all-time greatest, and that goes in any category, pro stock, top fuel. I thought that was awesome, but today you backed it up. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Have a safe trip home. All right. Thank you, Jack. Well, one reason we got to drive home why you're on Brett Kepner's list, you won more than a thousand races in your career. Yes, sir. How's that feel? Pretty good. I feel lucky. I say my wife is good and I'm lucky. And how many times you been to Pomona? I've been there three and my wife's been there two. Good Lord. How many track championships? 50, 56, 57. Good Lord. How many times national champion in NHRA? Um, just one time I, I won the national championship. Okay, you're gonna go back and try to do it again? I sure would like to. Awesome. I'd rather see my wife do it. Good answer. The legend, Roy Hagedorn, just won the $50,000 race. Roy, what'd you say? I think that cycledrag.com sticker I put on there over the weekend was my good luck. You 
you are the man. Congratulations. Enjoy that money. How's it feel holding that mass of cold hard cash? Oh my gosh, I've never had that much in my hand at one time. My wife always takes it. Well, <laughs> don't spend too much before you get to Florida. Uh, I, thank you very much. Congratulations, you man. Guys were great. We're on hallowed ground here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Lucas Oil Raceway. Guys, thanks so much. Cycle Drag Universe for now eclipsing 150,000 subscribers on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel and also a ton of likes on the CycleDrag.com Facebook page. Thanks so much. If you like this video, please make sure you share it with some friends. Let's keep this thing growing. We're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. We need your help. We'll keep digging up those great stories. You know, if there's anything fast motorcycles, we are in. Cycle Drag rolls on. Well, big congratulations to Roy, and I have good news for you. If you're saying, hey, I want to see the whole race, we have every single round starting with 128 on the CycleDrag.com Facebook page or simply log on to CycleDrag.com. It's all there on Facebook Live, but congratulations to that man. The legend of Roy Hagedorn grows. Thanks so much, everybody, for all the support, the likes, the shares. Please subscribe. Please share with a friend, and you know if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, especially 50K races, we're in. Cycle Drag rolls on.